Well, it's good to have you with me for morning prayer on Tuesday, the 21st of um, February. Um, I hope that this finds you well. Um, it's a uh, well, it's, a, it's an important day for us um, here in the Benefice as we say farewell this afternoon to um, one of our longest standing members, Mike Hawkins, um, who died very suddenly uh, a couple of weeks ago. So um, we'll uh, hold very much um, and the family in our prayers today, um, as well as the family, of course, of uh, Maria Fox, um, whose funeral takes place later this week, too. Um, as well as um, many other things um, in our crisis and in our communities um, and across the world. We're praying today in the diocese for the um, Easter Ideas meeting that's taking place today, apparently on Zoom. Uh, and um, we're beginning um, Lent, of course, tomorrow. It's um, Trove Tuesday today, Pancake Day. Uh, and Ash Wednesday tomorrow, so um, maybe you'll be able to join us um, for one of our services tomorrow. Well, let's turn to our order of service for morning prayer today. O Lord, open our lips, <coughs> and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed it the Lord, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion, who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding, and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Well, having just had part of Psalm 103, let's turn to uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 2, verses 1 to 13. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Go and proclaim in the hearing of Jerusalem, thus says the Lord. I remember the devotion of your youth, your love as a bride, how you followed me in the wilderness, in a land not sown. Israel was holy to the Lord, the first fruits of his harvest. All who ate of it were held guilty. Disaster came upon them, says the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, what wrong did your ancestors find in me, that they went far from me, and went after worthless things, and came, became worthless themselves? They did not say, where is the Lord, who brought us up from the land of Egypt, who led us in the wilderness, in a land of deserts and pits? in a land of drought and deep darkness, in a land that no one passes through, where no one lives. I brought you into a plentiful land to eat its fruits and its good things. But when you entered, you defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination. The priests did not say, where is the Lord? Those who handle the law did not know me. Let's get rid of this irritatingness. But when you entered, you defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination. The priests did not say, Where is the Lord? Those who handled the law did not know me. The rulers transgressed against me. The pro prophets prophesied by Baal and went after things that do not profit. Therefore, once more, I accuse you, says the Lord, and I accuse your children's children. 
Look to the coasts of Cyprus, and look, send to Kedar, and examine with care. See if there has ever been such a thing. Has a nation changed its gods, even though there are no gods? But my people have changed their glory for something that does not profit. Be appalled, O heavens, at this. Be shocked, be utterly desolate, says the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living water, and dug out cisterns for themselves, cracked cisterns that can hold no water. We turn to the New Testament now, to John chapter, thir to chapter 3, verses 22 to the end. Jesus and his disciples went into the Judean countryside, and he spent some time there with them and baptised. John also was baptising at Anon, near Salim, because water was abundant there, and people kept coming when were being baptised. John, of course, had not yet been thrown into prison. Now a discussion about purification arose among, between John's disciples and a Jew. They came to John and said to him, Rabbi, the one who was with you across the Jordan, to whom you testified, here he is baptising, and all are going to him. John answered, No one can receive anything except what has been given from heaven. You yourselves are my witnesses, that I said, I am not the Messiah, but I have been sent ahead of him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom. Friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. For this reason my joy has been fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks about earthly things. The one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, yet no one accepts his testimony. Whoever has accepted his testimony has certified this, that God is true. He whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for he gives the Spirit without measure. The Father loves the Son and has placed all things in his hands. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but must endure God's wrath. Well, let's turn to our prayers of intercession. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we have indeed seen the Son. Lord, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, for his life, his example, his ministry, his healing, his miracles, his teaching. And most of all, Lord, for his death and resurrection, bringing us hope and life the promise of abundant life here and now and life in all eternity. And Lord, we pray for ourselves today as we, well, as we mourn the loss of Mike and celebrate his life, that actually your hope and promise will bring us that strength and peace. Lord, we thank you so much for Mike's, Mike's long life faithful service to you, to the church, to the community, to his family and friends. <coughs> Lord, we do pray for the arrangements today, that they will run smoothly, that most of all we can glorify your name and support Hazel and the family. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the church, thanking you for the churches here in Norton and Staple Grove, the ways in which we support our local community, not least also the family of Maria Fox. Lord, we do pray for them. And Lord, as we're about to begin our Lenten journey, so we pray that your Holy Spirit will be with us as we commemorate Ash Wednesday tomorrow with the traditional imposition of ashes. So Lord, we pray that your hand would be upon us. Help us to focus upon the season of Lent 
of self-discipline, of denial, of penitence, so that we may be ready for Easter when it arrives. And Lord, today particularly we pray for the meeting taking place for ideas for Easter, that that will be creative and productive. And Lord, we do pray for, for our own Lent course here in the Benefice, for the plans and intentions that many of us have to do that course, and for real growth to come through it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, <clears throat> we do pray for the wider world, continuing to pray in the news for the friends and family of uh, Nicola Bully, for those involved in yet another earthquake in Turkey, Syria, the victims and families and friends for the war in Ukraine, Russia and for conflict and uh, violence and a lack of justice around the world. Lord, we do thank you for the Disasters Emergency Committee and many other uh, charitable organisations who, who support those. Lord, we give you thanks today for uh, local uh, violinist Anthony who came to play in both of our churches recently to raise money for the Ukraine uh, appeal and who has uh, been recognized in ri um, raising lots of money so Lord we thank you for him and for the many other people who have done perhaps unseen acts of kindness and love Lord in your mercy hear our prayer Lord, I do pray for those people we know who are suffering in body, mind or spirit, for Gerald and Ivy, for Barbara, for Pat, the many people within our communities who suffer simply through the time of year perhaps through mental health challenges, anxiety, depression, seasonal affected disorder. Lord, we pray that all may look to the light of your presence for hope and for strength. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So, Lord, Almighty Father, whose Son was revealed in majesty before he suffered death upon the cross, give us grace to perceive his glory that we may be strengthened to suffer with him and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour Jesus has taught us, so we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. So the Lord bless us, preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, I hope that you are uh, that you have a good day. If you are um, planning to come to Mike's service of Thanksgiving, um, it's two thirty at All Saints Church in Norton. 
um, and um, refreshments served afterwards at Norton Village Hall, um, so from about sort of half past three. Um, and everybody's welcome, um, so do feel free to, to come along to that. Um, and um, yeah, hope you have a good day. <laughs>